Hey guys, welcome back to the Living Waters Farm. This is Billy. In this video, I'm gonna show you what I just got through doing here. I went to Mac Bid and bought some stuff to flip on eBay. So if any of you guys have watched my last video, you know that I'm trying to get the money together so that I can get this uh, smelting, silver smelting business uh, off the ground. But I need about $616 to get some of the equipment to get started. So I don't have that money just yet, but I do have a little bit of money. So I went to MacBid and bought some of these items to see if I could flip them for a profit. So I got some smoke detectors and locks and these are like carbon monoxide uh, detectors, some universal remote controls. Uh, I did a couple other higher end items like a cash register I paid 11 bucks for and four channel microphone system. Uh, I paid a lot more for that. I'm hoping I can make a profit, but uh, let me see if I can show you my receipts here. Here's what I paid. I won these six items first. There's the uh, prices. Um, that's what I ended up paying at the end. Look at those fees. And then I also won this auction. Here's five items here and what I want them for. And there's a sixth item there and then there's uh how much i spent plus the fees it's ridiculous so when i picked them up i was a little concerned about the boxes this is the one that i spent 83 dollars on this is the four channel microphones so i'm really looking forward to digging into this box and seeing what i want i'm hoping this is uh going to be a profitable item i'm a little nervous but the box looks a little sketchy at first uh, in a Walmart box but I guess it's not too bad it's got the manual so that's good let's take a look here okay so the unit itself looks good there's both the antennas everything looks as it should nice and clean so far so good let me come around here and get a better look at it the light was kind of shining on it funny all right where's the microphones yeah there they go okay power plug four microphones and the little color things to mark the channels looks good looks good oh so I'm pretty happy about that um, good and here in a second I'll show you how I go about trying to figure out if I can make money or not so the other item that I paid only $11 for it but yeah this box is all right but anyway the uh, next item is the cash register i only paid 11 dollars for that and it sells for well over 100 dollars on ebay and amazon it looks great looks brand new um i don't see any issues with it i should be able to get a nice profit on this i mean i paid 11 dollars plus the fees let's just say about 15 bucks uh, it looks like this paper might have been, might have, this thing might have been used a little bit. I don't know, man. I don't know how much comes with that. I'll have to research that a little bit. All I know is I'm going to make more than $11 on this and get my money back, or at least that's my hopes. And uh, I'm hoping if I get this money together here pretty quick, I, I'll be able to get this smelting equipment, get this silver business started. But yeah, that looks pretty good. So, I guess next I want to show you guys kind of how I do this, how I'm going to flip these items to try to make a profit. Okay, so real quick, I want to show you how I find my items to try to flip on eBay. So, this is Mac Bid. I don't know if you have it in your area. I live in the Pittsburgh area and we have it. So, the way I do use it is I'll go into the auction area and i'll go into my filters and these are all the local pittsburgh locations i like to set mine for pittsburgh mills and then you can cruise through here um, as you can see this for example this toto washlet this whatever this toilet seat thing is right now it's got a bid of 34 dollars. it's got a retail price of uh, 1293 dollars, and the auction ends in one day in five minutes um, basically what you do is you can go into the uh, the listing it'll tell you what's wrong with it for example if you read the description it says items cracked pictured in our photos 
and these are the photos that they have and you can definitely see that there is a crack there i personally wouldn't pick this item to sell in my store but you can see there's quite a room quite a bit of room for profit if maybe you wanted to buy this and sell it for parts or something like that but I'm, that's not what i did but anyway let me let's go over here real quick i want to go to this one right here and show you this particular this is that Here's the microphone system that I was just unboxing. Um, as you can see, I pay $83 for it. It retails for $199. I, this is a little bit more than I normally would like to pay for uh, something like this, but when I went over to eBay and searched for it, uh, where is it at? Sorry, I like to copy and paste. So as you can see, these are selling for, well, here's one that's $169.99. It's an open box like mine. So even if I sold it for that, I would almost double my money. And these others are selling for a little bit more. Here's a pre-owned one. Um, yeah, so here's quite a few of them. And if I wanted to see if they're actually selling, I'll go into this thing in eBay and we'll check the sold items. Uh, showing 19 results and here you go sold July 1st here's one it's this one sold for a little better than 175 this one sold just obviously best offer here's another best offer one here's that one went for cheap it must be oh it just powers on missing mics I see here's one that went for 150 here's one went for 175 so if I could sell this hopefully I'm hoping I can get well over a hundred for this I might make a little money uh, there's still a learning curve I don't have this down pack yet but this is kind of how I do it though um, if we were to go to some of my other items like here's a this locks it it's worth $35 I paid four dollars for it some remotes I mean I paid a dollar for this you know and of course if you go and look at the fees that's where they really get you um, for this particular auction, I won one, two, three, four, five, six items. They charged me 15 bucks in premium, uh, the $18 in lot fee and the tax, that's normal. And for this particular one, I got the buyer assurance for $14 because I wasn't sure how these top two items, this uh, microphone system for 83, I, I definitely wanted to have buyer assurance on that just in case. And what this buyer assurance does, if it's damaged and it's not worth what you paid for it, you can actually return it. Otherwise, like for these other items, like these locks and this uh, wireless pro IR repeater and these remotes, I did not get the insurance because it was $7 a piece and it's just not worth it on some items. Um, but these items that do not have the buyer assurance, you do not get your money back. So basically, you're stuck with it if you get them. And I, it worked out pretty good. These are pretty nice items. Um, so I'm not too upset. I just hope I can make my $160 back at least. But we'll see. And then, then this one here, I also did. I spent, what, $52.00. $18 in lot fees, uh, $4 in buyer premium, just a bunch of fees, man. But like these uh, alarms, I got two bucks. Another lock, two bucks. Another doorknob and deadbolt, two bucks. Look, here's a battery a battery charger for 10 bucks. Um, and you know, it's valued at $56. So I could easily get $20 or more on eBay for this. And here's more of the smoke detectors, carbon monoxide. Um, I paid a little bit more for this one, but this one's worth almost $45. So, you know, I bet you I could get 20 bucks on that. But that's basically the gist of it. Um, there's one more thing I guess I could show you here. Let's go back to, like, let's go to this one, for example. Uh, here, we'll do the cash register one. So within the listing, as you can see, it shows a picture of the item. It shows what it looks like there at the facility where you go pick them up, right? Here's your, here's what I paid for it. Here's what it retails for. Winner saved 91.2%.
that's good. I try to be above 80%. But um, here's what I like. I like to see this button right here in the middle, this research product online. When you click on that, it'll open you up to, you know, Google search. And and there's the pro here, look, there's the product on Amazon. My register is the black one, not this one. Apparently this is a, an outdated model, a little bit older. Um, but it was so here, let's look at the buying options. You know, they're selling for pretty good on, you know, you see what they're selling for here? 147 up to, wow, there's some pretty expensive pricing prices on here. I paid 11 bucks for it and I already opened it up and it looks great. So no worries there. So I know that I could make some money on eBay with that. So let's go over to eBay now and, and check out that. Let's see if I can find it. It is. Here, let's go back over here real quick. Copy and paste. I'm on my phone. If I was on my computer, I could just type this stuff out real quick, but it's easier to copy and paste on the phone. But anyway, okay, so I don't see. Oh, here's one. Okay, here's several of them right here. These are the white versions and 188, 159. So not bad, 179. Here's a black one, but it's not really light. It's not the same. Oh, here's one right here. $219. How much did I pay for mine? $11. And like I said, I've already looked at it and it looks, it's brand new. Like there's nothing wrong with it. So I can make some money on this one, I think. Uh, I'm going to list it in an auction and we'll see what happens. But here, well, let me do this. Let's find out if they're selling. Twenty-three results. So it is selling. Look what it's selling for. And a couple sold yesterday or on the first. Today's the third. No, I'm sorry. Today's the second. They sold yesterday. But these are sold back in June. Yeah, so these are selling. And they're selling for a pretty good amount. Look, this pre-owned one right here. $161.95. Pre-owned. $110. Mine's new. It's just the box has been open. So anyway. That's kind of what I do uh, with this Mac bid, and this is how I'm going to try to get the money together so I can buy the equipment for the smelting business. Uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, that's about it for this video. If you like these kind of videos, do me a favor and subscribe and give me a thumbs up. That'll help me get paid. Also, if you like what I'm doing, go ahead, uh, leave me some comments, and we'll get some kind of commentary going. Um, I do respond to all positive feedback. If you're just going to be ugly, don't worry about it. But anyway, that's it for this video, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.